Okay, so welcome to my 2000 subs tour um, insane idea and it's we planned this months ago so apologies that we're now well, I'm late August and I'm filming this and the intention of it was never going to be to um, do anything before then and I never thought I was going to get to 2000 subs before then. So when I like got to June time-ish and got to 2,000 subs, I was like, really, late June, I think it was. Um, I had nothing planned. I genuinely had absolutely nothing planned. Um, and what we intended on doing was something a bit different. So I get asked a lot in comments, how much you up, how much you down, blah, 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 blah. Um, generally speaking, this is generalisation, generally, I finish up, generally. Um, I've lost occasionally, but um, I certainly do, in the retro arcades, do pretty well overall. Um, and so does Juz. And gener generally speaking, we have a rule of thumb that if one of us does really, really well, and the other one does shit, um, and by shit, it can be down a tenner, or it can be down 30 quid, or we can, we can be level, uh, or up a tenner, then the other one does mint, then we generally we buy the teas, and that's pretty much the way we do it. And because me and Juz play different stuff, we sort of semi complement each other, I guess. We don't really tread on each other's toes all the time. Don't get me wrong, there are machines we both love playing, and sometimes we all go halves on stuff just because we kind of both wanted to play it. But in the main, we're, we're pretty good with each other when we go out. Uh, Callum, Callum, pretty much a scatter bomb approach to MP4 Barcrest, which he absolutely loves. Um, and he will play stuff much more modern than I play. Absolute fact, because um, he's a current player, or. And I'm, yeah, well, long since retired, and Juz is even longer since retired. Um, so the plan is, plan of action, whether it'll all work out as we plan it or not, I don't know. But um, I'm starting there with, I've just taken this out of one of the bandits. So, 100 coins. Uh, Juz is going to match my 100 coins, so I'm going to start with 200. And the intention is Blackpool first, and then Bathgate... Uh, one tech, uh, the little arcade at Filey, uh, down the coast. We may pop in, I don't know, we've not planned it, but we may just have a little pop in at Bridlington. I'm not sure if we will or won't. Uh, depends on time on that day. Um, and then we're down to Kings Lynn to go to the bus station. We'd intended on going to Dom's arcade, which still isn't open, and he's going to Vegas again instead of opening it. Uh, but there are a few wrangles over it, but that will be open. And I uh, don't know how much he's disclosed to his location and stuff. Probably go down and give him a hand when he needs one. Um, and then we're going to South End to Retropolis, so we haven't been there yet. Uh, which is Alan's um, place, which has got a lot of the stuff uh, it used to have, but it has got a few additions. Um, and it looks pretty good, so we'll be going down there. Uh, then we'll be going to Chatham, uh, Maidstone to Real Fruits, Tunbridge, Bogner. Uh, we're probably going to have a little bob into Weymouth. That's sort of semi in the plan. And I mean, plan, I don't plan, just plans. Um, and then we're going to finish up at Western. Uh, you will see, I think, the quiz before you see any of this footage. Uh, the quiz is on the 7th, uh, Retro Slot's giving £50 worth of free play and I'm giving £50 worth of cash uh, to the winner it's for a bit of fun really, so first and second prize get a bit of something. Um, me and just took ages to do that, like literally did take us ages. So that's the plan and yeah, so Juz is going to match my £100 that's in there with £100 of his own and uh, we are going to advertise the profit and the loss, uh, which we don't ever do. And, you know, they could, we could finish with a grand in, in our bag. It might not be that bag. I don't know. Uh, but it might be that bag. Um, so we could have finished with a grand in that bag. We could finish up like where our ass is kicked and down everywhere we go. I hope not. Um, some of the hotels have been paid for already, so that, that they're all kind of out of the way. Um I've been sending just a little bit of money towards the, to hotels and that. It's going to cost us money, don't like, before we start. Uh, we really wanted to go, both of us really want to go to Bathgate because we've never been. Um, so that's always been part of the agenda, I guess. And, uh, yeah, we're 
we'll just see how it goes. It's going to be a bit of fun. Um, try to be a bit different to every other time we've been out. We'll try and do a little session at the end and just explain things. You know, we're going to put some time and effort into these videos more than normal. Um, and honestly, just kind of a thank you to you guys, really, for all of the constant support. And there has been constant support from a lot of people. Very, very positive. And a lot of people put my shit, my shit camera skills. Um, and, and, and honestly, I've, I've met some great people uh, over the last few years that have been coming out doing this. Um, you know, I've met people that I never thought I'd, I'd ever meet and know. And, and some of those people have become, over, over the last few years, very, very good friends of mine. Um, so, yeah, uh, I guess just stay tuned, enjoy it all. And just, just honestly, like... The level of sacrifice we're putting into doing this is bigger than any of the sacrifices we've ever done because we'd never planned on doing something so insane. By the way, that it's here at the moment um, is one of Retro Slots machines that I'm looking at and tidying up. And Benjamin will be very pleased to know that I'm tidying up the cabinet as well. You can still see the marks on the floor from the spray paint. Um, yeah, we, we are going to put through a hell of a lot of hours Um and we'll have a great deal of fun. And, and hopefully there's going to be one or two little surprise people on the way and stuff that we bump into or maybe in some people's cases planned. Uh, I know Callum intends on making a big sacrifice to come down um, to, to the Maidstone leg. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, we are playing from the pot and it is it is purely profit and loss. And um, yeah, I mean, I need I need people to be like realistic. Yes, we could get our asses kicked. Knowing me and Jules, we probably won't get our asses kicked, but, um, you know, even if we do finish up at the end of it all, you know, please bear in mind that it's we've had to pay for hotels, we've had to pay for, pay for fuel. We, we won't be up regardless unless something absolutely drastic happens when we're out on the road. You know, we only play a very set range of machines, so we only play set eras. Um, and yeah, we, it's, it, for, for us it's going to be more about the discipline of us not blowing um, rather than, you know, like I've never pushed things round for runs when they've not been there, you know, in the history of my videos and I'm very vocal about that I don't just fire money at machines, it's not, that's not what I do I, I like to see, I like you guys to see a true representation of what I do when I'm out on the road um, you know, I I am an ex professional. I did used to this my job, and I I loved doing it. It was part of it was part of me growing up, and you know I've, I've grown up and become an adult, and found myself going back to doing it again down the line. But um, please just yeah, treat it more like education. I, I certainly don't want people to think that you know profits are, are there when you go into these places. You you go in there for nostalgia. Um, the same reason we do, and you say if we do win, please, uh, you know, please take that with the kind of the good graces that it's sort of it's aimed at. You know, I'm not the guy that publicises profit. I mean, when I started the channel, it was more for this side of it, the home machine side of things. You know, I get massive sub um, satisfaction from fixing fruits. You know, massive satisfaction from fixing them, getting them going. You know, you can see all the stuff on the floor there. You know, that's a box full of epoch boards. Um, Barcrest MPE5 stuff. Um, it's just, I've got that much gear um, I've acquired. I, I dread to think how much gear I've got. The stuff at Ben's that's mine and various other places. And you just, you're never, I'm never going to keep on top of it all, to be honest with you. But, you know, for me, this is my hobby. It's my fun. To, to Jules, very much the same, you know, it's doing this is, is certainly a hobby for him. So, anyway, wish us luck. Um, I've rambled on for nine minutes, which is way longer than I intended on doing this intro for. Please enjoy the series. I get, like, you're going to places like Retro Slots are all five and eight quidders. They're not massive jackpots. You know, don't certainly don't expect some big profit if we break even out with some of these places. We'll be happy, but overall, yeah, bit of fun. Please uh, enjoy, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, like honestly, please just throw a sub on there for me because I'd love it. Um, as Kevin Keegan once said. Anyway, on with the action.
Right, the first tour uh, board. It's going to take me. Found a different way of dicking me, didn't it? Should have stopped me too quick, really. I don't know, I'll take it. There won't be too much gameplay. It'll be a bit more. Bring you back in the second row. Need my feet, really. Feels harsh. Nothing I do with it either. Cabris. Yeah. I bring a 360 in, aren't I? That's the only problem. Bit shit that he just wanted to hit nudges off every single one. How do I manufacture a two features, two features? Oh, that's the question. Not like that. That's a five of I definitely need nudges. One's above, one's below. I'm mm, going to have to do that. So nudges. That's my puppy, by the way. Brought the puppy with me, like you do. I've been banking up wins, I'm a little bit down on it to be fair, but not much. Yeah, this old fella there is Teddy, my puppy. My puppy, not really mine, is he? No repeat. Oh, I'll bring you back. Quick shot. Harder for the shark. Yeah, I've gone for the sea. I'd never shark. Not got it all. I'm going to miss any note to tell you about. However, Ginge has just informed me, and this is staggering, that Retro Slots Black will now do sandwiches, but only on a Saturday. You can just watch this crap cockroach crash while we're waiting, though. The aim here is £2, by the way. Sharking's probably cost me four quid for this.
prevented us from getting a hammer in. Right, drop me jackpot or something. That's not a jackpot, is it? Oh. I should have had it out by now. It's a tight one, I know. One way of doing it. Just notching it. Spring. Spring and bomb. That's not good. That is. Don't be there. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't catch me. Probably old enough than you. Old? Nah. Uh, nah, we, you only play it for the free time. I don't still think I've ever beaten that 18 quid. No, 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 no. Out of my way, This is not the end. No? I'll take the one. There's probably another pot here. No? I've got me one. I think it's there. I hope so, you're right. I mean, you're never wrong. You've never been wrong in your life, ever, have you? Back to back parts, so it was a few quid apart, to be fair. Playing with the tokens. Mission, mission avoid shark, mission be a shark. Backward? Backward? That's literally. I'd definitely be sacking that. It's only 17 quid's worth tokens out of it in about two seconds. Ooh. By the way, that's why you take chairs instead of your grapes. No, I was talking grapes because I was going for me three quid. Yeah. I think we all know three pound repeater is the daddy on it. First win, three quid in. What do you mean it's not gone up? Win number three. Fourth win took about nine quid to get out. This is our used to party time playing.
Going for a big jackers? Trying. Already, this is a perfect game, really. Yeah, especially if I was a woman. Weird number as well, nine. Pretty much pound weight. Give treasure trailer board. It's normally uneventful and shit when I play it, but. Do I hit a compass trail point or do I hit two features there? Uh, half tempted to hit the compass trail point, I think. I'll be blown. Or I should have just hit two nudges and maybe got five quid, who knows. Back on this for the last few tokens. One, two, three, four, oh, we can't catch me. Win back over the dick cost three pound off to get it. Standard. About a quid after the last one. A bit better. Yeah. Even better still. Oh, I'm a repeat. Set the feet to what side it will see if you can get a exchange at a quid. Crap number no down. Oh, 
first board, eight for Jaffa. Six. These will keep us sweet. Flowers for you, Ben. Might be dead here. <laughs> Could have just give Jack Potter out, wouldn't you? Just... A couple of twenty now. And I've got a dog fighting with a kid behind me as well, and I still managed to fill it. I'll have one. I won't get one. I'll have one. I've had no board, and then got that either. Ah. Put your legs down. Uh, he gave me off there, I've only put a pound in it as well. Um, I'm still fighting. Still fighting dogs and children and ginge. Uh, I'll bring you back on next board, I won't subject you to this. That'll be a no then. I'll just set me 80p and suck it, I think. Half-tempted. I'll be dead then. Oh, two spins in as well. Oh, this is lively for boards. Do I take the three quid or do I go for it? Jules, do you want me to take the jackpot or do you want me to press start? It's my first quid. What do you want to do? Oh. No, no. Oh, that was a large one. No problem. Number of given zero. Steady. Dog has decided to do one. You leave the dog to be looked after by it. To be fair, I think the dog's looking after Ginge, not the other way around at the moment. A bonus repeat? No. I'm gonna come off with less than a jackpot here if I'm not careful. Right, nudges please. Should really take that, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. 
I should say it's, I should say it's two pounds, I'm not probably not going to do that either. <laughs> It's worrying that it's worrying that my son's more grown up than the dog and Ginge combined. Jim man! Jim man! Absolute toy shop, you are you dog! Oh, oh frequent. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it would make some sense counting, wouldn't it? Oh, you drag it underneath me. <laughs> just too much going on here. Eh? Just way too much going on. Sorry. It's alright. <laughs> Used to, I can cope with me. It's uh, the two morons on the floor down there that uh, I'm struggling with. Give a head. Give <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Second shot, second. Next door. Welcome. Give it another go. Shout out Charlie. <laughs> Indeed. Avoid that feature, I don't. One shot, that's very really good. Not a two. Get a two. I didn't expect it. I've got a repeat chance as well. It went up off cash link. If I'd have the brains, I'd have got, it. I got my phone out beforehand. That's the next board after me for. Four stepper. Might have a chance. The end of that because it hasn't dropped the bank. Fancy more than a five off that top as well. Literally two spins later, but not going. Hardly surprised. I love that though, it's a bonus. Four stepper.
do I go to the two there below below and that's around the back two three four I'm just having a bit of a, a think out loud at the moment yeah I need them just have to hope I feature somewhere If I bring that down one though, yeah I'm alright, I'm laughing here. Am I one off? Why, why didn't I do that last time? Am I, am I, I've, got, I've, I've counted it right, I was three I below I were I? Right, right? I, I was assuming I was right without really even bothering checking. Yeah, you're all right. Go for that. Actually I genuinely wasn't really checking. If I was like a proper one, I would have bothered to work it out. Yeah, you didn't know. We don't all know how to play every machine. No, nobody on earth does. You messed this up. this last time, Yes. The good news is I'm not messing it up. Even when I'm not paying attention, I'm not messing it up. I do, I'm five quid as you see it a bit. Unfortunately it doesn't so mean anything, I will have to play it for the next board anyway. I'm surprised I've not run into a free board. I mean it has been a bit up and down when I've been on it, but... As long as it finishes on it up, you're happy, aren't you? Alright, I will play for the next board even if it costs 350 quid. <laughs> Might not. See the quid out. Even managing it with a dog at my feet. Straight after the jackpot repeat, so we'll see how this does. Oh, that's interesting. Fourteen offers. Take it at seventeen. Doesn't look like it's streaking. It'll be going above four, but but you know, we'll be sacking it off this board. I think. See what we can get off of that. I don't know if I've got any nudges above, above, and that's a wrong red seven, so should. Oh, I'll it again. It's an instructional video of this just for just winter. Sounds like a jackpot attack, Jim. Would you like to uh, advertise retro slots at this point? It's time for Jim to speak and tell us how great retro slots is. Teddy's got a lot to say about it. Loves it. Teddy, look, Teddy, Teddy loves retro slots, and you should all come down and spot retro slots. That's what Jim was trying to say. He's not as eloquent as I am. Probably time to sack this, I think. 